part B is to show that VW is parallel to this is UX this is VW VW we have already calculated let's try to find UX UX is equal to US plus SX US this is the part of PS U is dividing PS into 3 is to 1 so this portion is 1 is to total 4 so can be written as PS over 4 SX is a part of RS it's also dividing it into 3 is to 1 part we are finding SX so it will be negative RS over this is 3 and 1 so total 4 part 1 is to 4 so this is equal to PS 6A plus 4B plus 2C 6A plus 4B plus 2C minus RS RS is 2C minus 2C divide by 4 4 is LCM so that is equal to 6a plus 2c divide by 4 this 2c and 2c cancel so this is equal to that is uh, we divide all by 2 so that is 3a plus C over 2 this is 4B not 2C we we are going to change this this is this is 2C this is not 2C this is 4B so that will be we can write this as 6 over 4 is a 3 over 2 that is 1.5 a plus 2 b plus b only not 2 b 1.5 a plus b that is 3a plus 2b so we can see that so it means it shows that it is parallel to v w part 3 is if rs is 6 and negative 5 calculate the magnitude of rs in terms of asserts so r will be r square will be root 6 square plus negative 5 square so that is 36 plus 25 that is r now not r square so it will be root 61 so the magnitude of r is root 61 Question number 18. ABCD is a rectangle. The perimeter of ABCD is 64 centimeter. Correct to the nearest centimeter, AB is equal to 17. Correct to the nearest centimeter. The perimeter is correct to the nearest centimeter and the, the side is also correct to the nearest centimeter. Calculate the lower bound of the length AD. let's say this is a rectangle and this is a b c and d say this is the length and this is the width 
length is given 17 centimeter. Now the formula for the perimeter is two L plus two W. We have to find length A D that is W. So we can write P minus two L is equal to two W. So W can be written as P minus two L over two. Now if we have to find lower bound of W then the perimeter must be of lower bound minus we are subtracting to make it lower this is supposed to be upper bound divide by 2 so that is now let's see this is 17 we need the upper bound of 17 so upper bound of the 17 is this is 16.5 it is 17.5 so upper bound is 17.5 the perimeter is 65 64 we need the lower bound of the perimeter that is 63.5 so let's use this 63.5 minus 2 multiply by 17.5 over 2 so the answer will be 14.25 it is AD so length of AD is 14.25 in terms of the lower bound This is the last question of 4HR, January 2018. The four angles in degree of a quadrilateral are, we know that angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D, angle D not B, angle D is equal to 360 degree. These are the angles. We have to show that it's a trapezium. Let's see if we add it what's going to happen. So this is x square minus 1 of 5 plus x square minus 65 plus 470 minus 3x 30x plus 510 minus 30x is equal to 360 there's a plus in between so no chance no change of sign so we have x square and x square so that will be 2x square then we have the terms of x minus 13x minus 30x so that will be minus 60x minus 105 minus 65 plus 470 plus 510 minus 360 this all will give you minus 450 it's equal to 0 we can divide each by 2 so that is x square minus 30x minus 225 is equal to 0. This is x, this is plus, plus, plus. x square minus 2 multiply 15 multiply x plus 15 square is equal to 0 so this is x minus 15 square 
if you do the factors x square minus 2 a x minus plus a square is equal to x minus a square this is 0 so x will be plus 15 and minus 15 so let's take no x is just 15 it's not plus or minus there's no question of this x minus 15 is equal to 0 so x is plus 15 so there's no confusion x is 15 so now if x is 15 angle a will be 15 square minus 105 that is 120 angle b will be 15 square minus 65 that is 160 angle c will be 470 minus 30 times 15 450 that is 20 degree and angle d will be 510 minus 450 is equal to 60 degree so our angles are 120 160 20 and 60 we have to show that this is a trapezium let's say how we can prove that it's a it's a trapezium now let, let's see this figure suppose this is angle B this is 160 this is angle C that is 20 angle a is 120 so let's say so let's say this is uh, this is a 120 and this is angle D is 60 we can see that angle B and angle C are supplementary angles the sum is 180 so it means a B is parallel to DC so a B C D is a trapezium that's that's all we have solved for HR January 2018 paper I hope you have learned a lot my advice to you is first read the question pause it try to do it yourself if you are able to solve it, it's good, check the answer. If you are not able to solve, check the procedure. The procedure may be different from yours. Try to find out the procedure, the solution or the method where you take less time. If you get more time in your hand, it is good for you to revise the question you have already done or to concentrate more on the question you have not done well. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.